Toronto Western Hospital is a pioneer globally in neurosurgical care. We are innovators in brain tumor surgery. We don't just provide standard care, we go the extra mile by staying at the leading edge. What is being done here is now being followed at many other centers throughout the world. Dr. Gentili really is a master surgeon. He's really the doctor that the other neurosurgeons go to when they're in trouble, when they have a tough case. He's a neurosurgeon of international rank. Without question, the leader in endonasal skull-based surgery. The surgery that he does is in very expensive real estate, the brain. There are very few surgeon, neurosurgeons anywhere in the world that do the kind of work that he does. This is a man who operates on tumors that nobody will go near. Perhaps the most difficult and most complex operations of all of neurosurgery. Because it's in the skull base, they're the, limited by the bony structures, but also limited by very critical and dangerous surgical anatomy. Before Dr. Gentili and his team came along, they would try and open the head and go under the brain and by and large, very hard to get to, a lot of damage along the way. What has happened in the last seven years is that Fred has helped to pioneer the Indonesian approaches. Fred, jointly with my younger colleagues, are able to take tumors out by putting a scope in the nose. He uses fiber optic vision, goes looking through a narrow tube. We're really talking about sub-millimeter precision and accuracy. If you took a paper towel roll, and took out that cardboard center, 30% of it. and then took a pair of chopsticks, and tried to eat a plate of spaghetti through that, you'd get an idea of what uh, level of skill endonasal surgery requires. He's gotta have magical hands and the ability to manipulate small objects. He took the approaches to the skull base to the limits of where clearly we can be today. It looks like he's not enhancing fibers. He has trained generations of surgeons to do what he does. And the surgery at the skull base and the expertise in this area is, is really world leading. When he operates, he's constantly telling people what he's doing, why he's doing it. He takes the time to demonstrate those things and to walk you through the different steps of a procedure. There are students, doctors that are nurses from all over the world that come to Toronto to learn from Dr. Gentili. I'm learning a lot from him. It's only in the beginning in Israel, so it will definitely be uh, an, an, a new experience for me and a new approach that we can use back in Israel. Dr. Gentili and his team have changed the game from modest survival to excellent survival, specifically by developing the techniques that they use. He provides treatment that many patients in the world don't have access to. Because of that, UHN has become a resource for these patients. They come from all over, and in fact, from all over Canada. You're lucky if you can get him, if you need him, because there are very few people that do what he does. My daughter was four months old and with me in the neurologist office when I was diagnosed with a brain tumor. I had a large, rapidly growing trigeminal schwannoma. And with tears in my eyes, I looked at the neurologist and said, please just find me the best surgeon. And I was referred to Dr. Gentili. I was terrified. 
I had to have a lot of uncomfortable conversations about what would happen. Childcare for the children. Making decisions with my husband where I wanted them to go to school. What I wanted for them long term. What my hopes and dreams were for them. Then you say goodbye to your loved one. The hardest thing to do is to kiss your kids goodbye. Went in for my surgery on October 27th. I really, really wanted to be home for Halloween with the kids. I was able to take the kids to two houses for trick-or-treating before <laughs> the family pulled me back in the house. <laughs> I am eternally grateful every day of my life for the amazing surgical work that Dr. Gentile performed on me. One of the last things I did before leaving the hospital was to ask, where can I donate? Because he's given me my life back. A chair for Fred Gentili and for base of skull surgery, as he calls it, will codify his accomplishments, permit him to train others, establish this field for the future, and allow him to build on the excellence that he has developed right here in Toronto. It provides the resources that we aren't able to access in any other way. Fred deserves this uh, lasting legacy. I'm not aware of any other chair in the country in this field, and that will allow us to stay at the forefront. And so he is a real, true pioneer. We need to congratulate him, and we need to consider ourselves so, so fortunate to have him uh, as a colleague as a, and as a teacher. I love the fact that a man who works in a very quiet way, in a very deliberate way, in an area that isn't as high profile, is getting recognized for absolutely wonderful work for being able to train the next generation of neurosurgeons who can deal with this specific area. To know that there will always be someone who can do the work that he's doing is, there are no words. And there probably isn't a day that goes by that I don't think, thank goodness I was in his hands. I can't even put into words how he's, he, he cured me, he's given me my life back. He's allowed me to be a whole, healthy, complete mom to my kids, wife, daughter. He's amazing. <laughs>